Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to learn about recommendation for hybrid networks. The topic of discussion is Azure Express Route. Azure Express Route is an Azure service that allows you to extend on-premises network over a private connection. A connectivity provider helps make this connection. Express Route extends beyond Azure and lets you establish connections to other Microsoft cloud services such as Office 365. And Express Route connections don't use public internet. By using a dedicated connection between your on-premises network and Azure, you achieve greater resilience, faster speeds, higher security, and lower latency. There are three Express Route connectivity types and each serve a different need. Let me take you through these one by one. The first one is Cloud Exchange. With the Cloud Exchange method, you cross-connect to Azure by using the Ethernet Exchange that provided by your co-location facility. The next type is Point-to-Point. -point. With the Point-to-Point -point Ethernet Network method, you connect on-premises data centers and offices to Azure through a point-to-point -point Ethernet link. And the third type is Any-to-Any. -any. With the Any-to-Any -any network method, you integrate your WAN with Azure by using an IP virtual private network provider. The connection type offers links between branch offices and data centers. When it's enabled, the connection to Azure is similar to any other branch office that's connected via the WAN. Now let's talk about Express Route circuits. With Express Route, the logical connection between your on-premises network and your Azure network is called a circuit. You configure traffic management and routing in Express Route by using circuits. You can have multiple circuits which exist across various regions. Express Route Circuits also supports connections through many connectivity providers. And each circuit has multiple routing domains and peering associated with it. First, let's look into Azure Private Peering. Private Peering is a trusted extension of your core network in Azure with bi-directional connectivity. By using the peering method, you can connect to virtual machines and cloud services directly on their private IP addresses. Second is Microsoft Peering. Microsoft Peering provides connectivity to all Microsoft online services, Office 365, Dynamics 365, and Azure Platform as a service. This model requires a public IP address owned by you or your connectivity provider, which adheres to a set of predefined rules. Third type is circuit bandwidth. You can have as many circuits as you need, each matching the bandwidth you require. For example, you might want a higher bandwidth between your data center and the cloud, but a lower bandwidth for your satellite offices. Bandwidth speeds come in fixed tiers. For example, it could be 50 Mbps, 100 Mbps, 1 Gbps, 10 Gbps, or 100 Gbps. The bandwidth gets shared across any peering in the circuit and is mapped to the connectivity provider and peering location. So let's look at the reference architecture for Express Route. This is a reference architecture example, shows how to connect your on-premises network to Azure Virtual Networks. This architecture includes several components. The on-premises network is your local Active Directory managed network. The local edge routers connect your on-premises network to the connectivity provider circuit. And the express route circuit supplied by your connectivity provider operates as a layer 3 circuit. It provides the link between Azure edge routers and your on-premises edge router. The Microsoft Edge routers are the cloud-side connection between your on-premises network and the cloud. And there are always two Edge routers, which provides a highly available active-active connection. And the Azure Virtual Network is where you will segment your network and asset into tiers. 
Each application tier or subnet can manage specific business operation. For example, a web, business, and data. Now let's look into some of the express route consideration and benefits. When you are evaluating express route, you need to consider few of the benefits and considerations. So implementing express route in your organization help you produce benefits such as better suited to high speed and critical business operation and it can support up to bandwidth of 100 Gbps and Express Route provide dynamic scalability to help meet your organizational needs. Some of the few considerations are to set up and configure for Express Route is more complex and will require collaboration with connectivity provider. And Express Route requires the on-premises installation of high bandwidth routers as well. That concludes this lesson. In the next episode, we're going to learn about how to implement a secure hybrid network. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.